I'm sure you can agree that there's nothing more enjoyable than a cold cocktail with friends while dining out or maybe just hanging at the beach. It's one of those reasons why visitors flock to our islands and why locals can be seen indulging at a myriad of our bars and restaurants around the islands. Now, beyond our beautiful white and pink sand beaches lies a bustling beverage industry, flaunting some of the most talented mixologists that you can find anywhere around. That's why today we are at one of Antigua and Barbuda's most popular shopping sites, Epicurean Fine Foods, where we are bringing to you the top mixologists across Antigua and Barbuda in search of the destination cocktail of the year. I'm Patrice Martin, and you're watching the Taste of Bodadley Mixologist Competition 2022. It's, it's uh, an experience I want to see. You know, come on, know people who come with the A game and the top game, so I'm going to bring my A game too. You can bring food a top game too. And, you know, you know, they say it's a dog eat dog world, but hey, this dog is coming to eat. Nobody will be looking for what I'm coming with, and that's why I'm going to sneak up and take out all the competition. That's my goal. Now, 15 bartenders from across the country submitted their top recipes to be judged by Antigua's very own mixology icon, Danielle Timmy Thomas of Timmy Time Cocktails. Timmy poured over the submissions, searching for the top nine recipes that stood out from the list. But before we introduce our top nine contenders, let's meet our judges. Now, Alex Brown has been involved in the food and beverage industry for over 35 years. He has worked with many hotels to include Jolly Beach Resort and the Grand Pineapple Beach Resort. He has served as a food and beverage lecturer at the Antiguan Barbuda Hospitality Training Institute and enjoys a good old gin and tonic or a nice bottle of wine. He prides himself on his work ethic, his love of serving others and ensuring customer satisfaction not just only within the food and beverage sector. Fitzroy Quinlan entered the hospitality industry on December 26, 1976, and is still quite active to this very day. Now, he has worked for numerous properties around the island to include Half Moon Bay, Grand Pineapple Beach Resort, and Blue Waters. He has provided his knowledge and expertise to many young minds as a food and beverage lecturer at the Antiguan Barbuda Hospitality Training Institute for over three years. Now he's a lover of vodka, a lover of gin, and enjoys being on the bartending scene. And finally, Daniel Timmy Thomas. His career behind the bar began with humble beginnings at the Grand Pineapple Beach Resort, where he explored his natural knack for mixing drinks and took his passion to various competitions around the globe, earning him brand ambassador of Angostura Rum two years in a row. Now with the onset of COVID-19 and bars across the island being forced to close their doors, Timmy saw an opportunity and began bottling his own cocktails, birthing his namesake, Timmy Time Cocktails, which became a comfort for many who couldn't venture to their favorite bars and restaurants. Not only was he last year's favorite at this very same competition, but Timmy has been a mentor and inspiration for other aspiring bartenders and has certainly solidified his position as Antigua and Barbuda's top mixologist icon. I made a drink called Natural Mystic, which is a red, yellow, and green drink, like layers, you know what I mean? And it just wowed the judges, it, it wowed the judges. And I, I, I know there were some experienced bartenders who entered that competition years before. And the day of the, the announcements, I see, I won it, you know what I mean? And I also got most innovative bartender. And I said, whoa, you know what I mean? And that was just, just a joy, you know what I mean? I think that, that, that was a push for Tim. Now that we've met our judges, it's time to introduce you to the Elite Nine. Meet our top bartenders.
Now that we've met David, Ricardo, Irving, Canto, Altino, Angel, Quincy, Brian, and Colton, it's time to start the competition. Being the only female amongst eight other guys, I think I have a high chance of winning. Yes, yes I do. My name is Irving Santos. Irving Santos Lopez. I'm from Cancun, Mexico. And now I live in Antigua. I was really and truly just a regular bartender until I start like mixing these different cocktails, these different flavors together. And I find that, you know, every time I did it for guests or, you know, for customers and so on, they really like my drinks. I had a passion just growing inside of me that I didn't know before, you know, and I just decided to just do it. And I did it and I've been here for two years and Blue Waters has just put me on the map. In this first round, our nine contenders have been split into three groups. One winner will be chosen from each group and those three winners will make up our top six. For this round, each contestant has been tasked with making the same cocktail using a mystery fruit found and grown locally on island. Mixologists, at your stations, your time starts now. Timmy, what are you looking for? Well, of course, perfection. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I, I'm watching, of course, techniques. Okay. Techniques is very important. You know what I mean? I'm watching the bar, like, overspilling too. You know what I mean? It boils down to bendiness. At this particular time, I'm looking for how they, how, how they perform their duties. Okay. Right? The action, the, right? the cleanliness. Um, right, right now, I already picked up something that um, I think should have happened, but mm -hmm. maybe, maybe modern day. You, you, you're a tough one. You're a tough cookie. You're a tough cookie. Well, I'm Ricardo Emmanuel, but that's my government name. But I'm um, Ricky Mojito. I know I'm here by shaking that stirred. And I really love mixology because flavor and taste, things complement one another. And it's amazing when you see someone's face when they taste a drink and they say, wow, this is good. Like, sometimes you believe they're not, they're telling the truth, they're lie to you, but they're actually talking the truth. It's like, it amazes you to see that people love that. So, you know, I like the love in that and the respect. So, most of my drinks, I do a lot of things I do, do it for the love. When I get on fake, water down, I do it for the love, not for the like stuff. I've never been on a stage like that. I haven't been in competitions for a while. So through the whole situation with COVID and so I just want to get back my foot in there. We don't see what it'd be like, you know, against the other competitors too. They have their things that they want to show off, their talent, same as still. Because there's a uniqueness in doing what you do, especially being a mixology, it's a uniqueness, your talent. And I just want to show that. I'm just trying to push out Ricky Mojito as, as the love and the me, you know? Good. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Vinci, you good? Yeah. And so, how are we doing? I'm doing great. Doing great? One more minute, guys. One more minute. Alright guys, thank you for coming to my Mixology class today. My name is Quincy. It was nice making these cocktails for you and I hope you enjoyed them. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Being a mixologist, I think, is a superhero job because you put a smile on people's face and stuff like that. When you and it tastes the, the different flavors in the cocktails and stuff. When when I look at them drinking the cocktail, I'm like, yeah, I hit a spot. I, I really did hit a spot. The judges have had the chance to taste each mixologist cocktail made with the tamarind fruit, and it's now time to make a decision. I think we uh, we eliminated Ricardo. I didn't think he followed the rules so much. Because in the first round, he made three different drinks. This was supposed to be one drink, but three different portions. And he made three different drinks. I don't know if you read the, the guidelines correctly or what. So we've got Quincy and Canto advancing to the next round. Congratulations, gentlemen. I look at what I do not only as a job, but I take it super serious. This is my passion. I wear my passion on my sleeve. That's how much I'm into this. Give me a challenge, give me challenging competitors, and I'll show you that I will outshine them all. That's just a fact. Our nine contenders have been split into three groups. Group A includes Ricardo, Canto, and Quincy. Group B includes David, Irving, and Altino while Group C includes Angel, Brian, and Colton. Now two winners will be chosen from each group, and those winners will make up our top six. For this round, each contestant has been tasked with making the same cocktail using a mystery fruit found and grown locally on island. Now let's test your local fruit knowledge. This fruit grows on a large tree in a bean-like pod, is rich in amino acids and high in antioxidants, can be sweet, and sour to the taste. Any idea what this mystery fruit may be? But if you guessed the tamarind, then you've guessed correctly. Two winners, each from Group A, Group B, and Group C, will be chosen at the end of this round. Our contenders have three minutes to complete their cocktail and present their masterpiece to the judges for tasting. Mixologists, at your stations, your time starts now. The question for me is for Leo, for uh, kind of the expression of the, the people from Antigua. No? I want to kind of the gastronomy from Antigua. I study uh, the local products, the local ingredients. I, I want to kind of, I want to kind of, my, I, I participate in the competition for Leo, for Leo, for life the experience, because here is my first country outside of Mexico. And I, I, I try the, this competition for Leo, for Leo, for the experience. All right, Irvin. All right. We're going to call this the stylish beat. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's like we're in downtown Harlem or something. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. 
one time. All right. I think that was a flare round. <laughs> Those two guys, Altino and David, these guys are my guys too. They work, I work along with them for a bit too. So they, David works along with my company too, Timmy, Timmy Time, you know, when he's doing a lot of events and stuff. So he, he learns a lot from me too, you know. He's been doing this thing for quite a bit. Altina has been, is like a heathen king of old, like myself. <laughs> At one time, people used to call us brothers. They say we look alike, but, but uh, yeah, that was a very exciting round. You see the guys, you know, I mean, flaring and pouring a drink some up high, and you know, it was very, very nice, a very nice, very nice round. By the end of the day, you know, I mean, we had to uh, eliminate uh, Irving. Then again, you know, it all boils down to taste, taste taste. Ooh. Second round is heating up. It's the moment that we find out who the next two will be advancing to the next round. Guys, you ready? Sure? Y'all don't look too sure. Y'all don't look too sure. Ah, I'm nervous. Okay, let's find out. So we've got Altino and David moving on to the next round. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. I want to become a mixologist because I enjoy mixing drinks. I enjoy creating new tastes and textures and flavors to, to drinks. I love playing around with ingredients and trying things that I've never tried before. Um, working in the hotel industry, it allows me to meet people from different backgrounds and you get a feel and an idea of what they are, they're accustomed to and the type of person that they are will allow you to create a drink just, just based on what they have told you. And sometimes you you create something so amazing that you you just put together three, three ingredients and they like it. Colton, Angel, you all ready? Ready? The time starts now. Woo! All right, let's go. Now they will automatically be moving yeah. on to the next round. That competitor, a little bit too nervous. I think so, but I, I wonder. Uh, shouldn't be why. Listen, uh, that round before, when I saw people flipping two shakers at the same time, I would have stayed home too. <laughs> so he said, I would have stayed home. So oh. No, no, no. He came and he saw so and he left. left. No. No. So he was here. He was here. Right. But he saw the flipping of the shakers at the same time and the story done. No bother with that. No bother with that. We'll try another time. You can't even all be here and Listen, I agree, try, partner. Try and fail and fail. I agree with him. You know what I mean? But Timmy, if I come and see you shaking, I'm not going to compete either. For Group C, the third round, what it is, we have one of the contestants, they didn't, they didn't show up, so. We still had a little mix-off between the two. That was a lone female. Her name was Angela, or Angel, sorry. And we had Carlos King. It was a good round, although they qualified already, you know what I mean? It was a good round. They just came and did their thing. Which was, was quite, quite impressive also. So. One minute, Angel. One minute, Colton. Look, 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 you see what I mean? You see what I mean? The you see what I mean? Thirty seconds. All right. Five, 
and Dylan Colton. All right. You're going to see Colton 2.0. I'm about to turn the swagger up. I'm going to make these drinks like no other drinks anybody ever seen in Antigua. And I'm going to wow these judges. I'm going to make them remember me. And they're going to talk about me for the rest of the year. This is about to be the destination cocktail of Antigua and Barbuda of what Dadly. You all are going to taste with Dadly. And this is for Love Life Foundation. This right here, we're going to make a difference. I'm going to start off with this drink. The one person will not be advancing. These two are automatically in the next round. However, in the next round, they're going to be competing against each other again. And only one will advance to the next round. So Angel, Colton, congratulations. You're on to the next round. And good luck to whoever will be advancing on to the next round. 